I call the meeting to order. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Will it roll call, please? Councilmember Walters? Yes. Selby? Yes. Miller? Yes. Billickson? Yes. Mayor Geese? Yes. And citizen comments. If anyone would like to speak to the council, please do. Welcome, Mary Elizabeth. Thanks, Mayor. Currently. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, it's, okay, okay, it's not like you're up for re-election or anything. It wasn't like you're up for re-election. So I wanted to come to thank the board very much for taking seriously my comments from last time. And I wanted to come to share some responses. So Lane very nicely sent me an email that responded to the questions I had. So the part of questions can be answered by saying that we don't have a specific roll up number for costs. I was hoping for something a little more monetary and specific. What I'm understanding, Mr. Hill, is we don't have any idea how much that cost. Or we don't well, it's bits and pieces of different things. So we don't, we, we have, everything's in one budget. I understand. And, and that may be a problem. Okay, so I didn't get, I have never really been as angry as when I read it. Because I have been asking this question for two years. Other people have been asking the question too. And I really thought I would get a number. So then there's a comma. But they were covered by insurance. Now, I had never thought that before. I had never thought of insurance. I've done my life. I'll tell you a story. 20 years ago, I was driving to Benson to go to the vet, and a duck flew into the side of my car. The duck died. But when I got home, I called my insurance company, and the woman on the phone wanted to know how fast I was driving, where I was driving, and what was the size of a, the dent. I said, it's the shape of a duck. And a person had to come out because we didn't have cell phones. So I doubt very much that the city just sent in a blank piece of paper that said, please pay us. So I'd like a copy of that insurance money, because that has to exist. The city sent something in, and they sent us some money. I want to see it. OK. All right. Now the van shelter is refinished. The bathrooms are the waiting on the van shelter to be refinished, but the bathrooms are done, and they turned them off because of heat. Okay, we continue to see vandalism in our parks, and there was discussion about putting cameras in the parks to watch over the facilities. I'm astonished that you have not already done that. Are you kidding? The people who vandalized that bathroom destroyed it permanently. Because you hadn't fixed it yet, I got a tour of the inside because I live across the street. Someone to face the walls, they have to be painted. That was special stuff. It will never look the way it did before. Never. And it will require more maintenance because it has to be repainted. And you, and you don't have cameras. And what we need is cameras with big signs that say there are cameras so that people won't do things. And then he finished that paragraph with, also, I don't believe they have caught the individuals responsible and do not have information regarding that at this time. I called Reggie this morning. They have suspects. They're in the process of making charging orders. The city attorney will make a decision about what has been done to them. So they do have somebody that they think, but they have to wait for the cost to come in to know what they're going to charge. So just wanted you to know that's coming. OK. Blaine's going to look at the sidewalk. He said, I will look at this library sidewalk to see what the issue is with regard to tripping. I don't know if Blaine looked. I looked at the minutes, but it's, or the agenda is not there. As for the bathroom, you know that the architect came and all of those things. Okay. Last Tuesday, I was in the library. I go to the library every morning now because I'm retired and I have to do what I want. The buttons don't. 
consistently work. So a person who is differently abled was using a wheelchair, push the button, the door to the library did not open. So the per person pushed the button again and the door opened. In the attempt to navigate into the library, there was insufficient time for the door to remain open, so he was caught in the door. The buttons have to work. The timing has to be extend extended. People have called and the city has not responded. Now, I appreciate that fixing those buttons is a major big deal, but if you can't get them fixed, and I mean done fixed, then you have to ask somebody else to fix them. The city has to fix that. I can't believe you're not in an ADA violation. Who, can I just ask, you said people have called? Yes. Called who? The city. Why? Well, I've never gotten well, a call. I cannot help the communication within the office. You know, because we do have a we do have a company that maintains the well, the doors. Well, they have to come back. Okay. Now, I learned two things from my meeting last two weeks ago. I have insufficient prosecutorial skills to get an answer to a question. And I know, Blaine and I talked before the last meeting briefly, and Blaine said he couldn't understand why citizens were frustrated. Because if you come to the meeting or they could read the paper and it was very open, this is why they're frustrated, Blaine. I want that number. Honest to Pete. People are frustrated because they can't get a number. They, can't, they know something's happening, but they can't get information. I'm just going to remind you that 31 years ago, I started the process of adopting children. And I managed to do it twice. So I am extraordinarily Right. So I realized also that elected officials have a very tough job. Because you have to imagine a life you do not lead. You don't represent yourself. You don't represent your friends. You represent everyone in this community who may be different from you. And that's a very some of us do that a little more easily than others, but that's what your job is. So, just one final thought. I'm embarrassed about this and, you know, humiliated when I realized in the night. In June, when I called about the bathrooms at Eastside Park, I was so happy that there were porta potties. I was. They've been there till October, but they weren't just, they weren't differently able accessible. Parks are public spaces of civic engagement. A lot of people use East Side Park for political reasons. And that prevented people because they can't use a bail number. I think you have a lot of work to do. And the doors to the East Side Park bathrooms, when they are unlocked, I don't think people can open them because there are no know that there are some people who are growing older in this community who don't have the strength to open that door. I want to think about the accessibility issue. Bye. Thanks for coming. Thank back. you, Mary Elizabeth. You're welcome. Okay, any other citizen comments? Can I just comment on one thing that she Please just brought up? Thank God you waited. I, I, I need to clarify this because I don't want the public to get the impression that Blaine knows something that he's not telling people. You know, if it's, I have to speak generally about this because I can't tell you everything I know. So I will say generally speaking, if a juvenile is going through the process of a, of a delinquency action, I can't tell anybody about that. There's no records that the public can ex access about that. And because of that, Blaine would not know that. <laughs> There's no way he's gonna know whether or not we're pursuing a, a juvenile delinquency case. And obviously media would not know. Right. Yeah, well, no the only one. people that media. would know would be law enforcement and yourself. So that just to say that is like, that would never be a council's role, council member or city manager to give out information on, on an investigation. That's where you call law enforcement. So, I mean, yes, that's a good point to say that because you're right, that is not, no one is privy to that information. 
And even once charged, no one is, if it's a juvenile, it doesn't come out. We would, right. you know, then it's all hearsay. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, so that, that, you know, talking about that is like, no, that's a non-issue, not a city manager or city attorney's job to. <laughs> Has anybody called or contacted you at all about the door not working at the library? No. Okay. So I, it, I didn't it, really it could think be, so, but. It could be that somebody's contacted Ann about it. Uh, and we do have, you know, one of the things that we've done is we put openers on all of our buildings, City Hall, this building, um, the library, and there's a company that put them in, and that's who they call if there's doors break, mm -hmm. you know, and so it could be that the, the, the opener is broken and it has to be repaired, but it's not something where um, we wouldn't do that. You know, right. because that's part of what we wind up doing. This one has to be actually be turned on, you know, um, to make sure that it's on. But this building is locked almost all the time because the only time people are are in here is if they rent it or if we have a meeting, uh, stuff like that. And and uh, well, and, and historically, the library doors and they may have been replaced, but um, they were an issue. Right. For oh a yeah. Long time. They, yeah, they were an yeah. issue for a long time. I don't know about now, but they worked the last time I used them. Is that something you could follow up with Anne yeah. to see if yeah, people absolutely. are complaining? Because yeah. again, if, if something isn't working, you need to, I mean, the, the, you need to go to come right. here and say that, that's great. That puts it into, oh, right. we'll check on that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so thank you. I mean, that's all you can do is check. Okay, any other comments on the citizen comments? Uh, we have no public hearings tonight. We do have reading and approval of minutes from October 11th, regular meeting. I'll move approval of the regular meeting minutes from October 11th. I will second. <clears throat> Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. And we have the condensed version of the minutes from October 11th. I'll move approval of the condensed version of the minutes for October 11th. I'll second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. We have a consent agenda consisting of audit of city bills, gambling reports, library board minutes, and revenue and expenditure report. And I will move approval of the items on the consent agenda. I will second. Any discussion? I just have a question on line item 24, custom fabrication and repair on the scoreboard. Is that something that come out of our funds or was that from a baseball association or? Uh, no, that's out of our funds. Okay. So, and there'll be at least one other bill. So it was, that was a project where um, Originally, we were going to do it all in-house, and then uh, this is actually for the uh, the metal work that had to be done for the the posts and stuff. And at then, Wells Park, correct? At Wells Park, Thank yeah. You. And then uh, um, so there's a little bit of concrete work that had to be done, and actually Mac Buyer is is the one that helped facilitate that. So there'll be a bill coming in on on that. Um, he he does a lot of work with. Uh, the baseball association and, and things like that. And so the association paid for the scoreboards and all that kind of stuff, and then we put them up, and and then there'll be some wiring that has to go in next spring. Okay, thank you. I just said gambling reports, and it was gambling reports from Morris Hockey Association. Um, any other discussion on any of the items on the consent agenda? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. We have no petitions, requests, and communications for ordinances and resolutions. We have a resolution adopting the City of Morris, Morris Transit updated drug and alcohol testing policy. Yeah, this is required by the federal and state government as far as the transit program goes. And from time to time, there's changes that are uh, required to be made in our policy and and this is a resolution to do the updating on that no 
I'll move on the resolution adopting the City of Morse Transit update, updated drug and alcohol testing policy. I will second that. Any uh, further discussion? Thank you, Whitney, for your work on this. And where are we doing the testing now? Is that actually in City Hall here? It's at the fire hall. At the fire hall. There's a approval, or approved bathroom there. Oh. Okay. Okay. Any other comments? We'll have roll call vote on the resolution, please. Council Member Wallers? Yes. Sylvie? Yes. Miller? Yes. Gillison? Yes. Marys? Yes. City Manager's report. Yeah, I'll, uh, actually I got one item that I, is not on here. We actually met with FEMA today. So uh, um, it was uh, a, a very good meeting. The, uh, the individual that's the uh, contact for us that's gonna be putting together all of our disaster uh, our request items uh, is actually a supervisor of all the people that do that. And so uh, very knowledgeable, very easy to work with. Uh, there were four different people from uh, FEMA that were there talking about the different aspects of it. And uh, Russ was there and Ryan was there and myself and Whitney and, and uh, we'll be putting together all of the documentation that they're gonna require for um, our disaster relief money. Uh, and and uh, it's gonna be a lot of work, but uh, um, we've done a lot of the work already to make sure that we're ready for it. So that was a very good meeting this morning and we anticipate Hopefully it'll be done by the end of the year, the, the requests and all the paperwork and everything. And just one quick note, you know, uh, sitting down in that meeting, you know, one of the things that we identified is it sounds like the additional money we spent on the fire hall roof may be covered by them uh, because basically uh, we were gonna repair it back to the way it was, but then we identified the need to readjust the roof to make sure that we don't have that kind of a problem in the future. And that was one of the things that they said was an allowable adjustment that you could make. And so, so that was nice to know that we may be getting some money on that. Same thing with the, uh, the airport uh, facility. And then actually we talked a little bit about, depending on what happens with the generator uh, situation out at the, uh, out at the uh, wastewater plant and possibly our lift stations. So it's always good to sit down with experts that know and understand how all the federal funding works um, so that we can get at uh, all the requests that we need to make. Um, we're gonna have the work session on Thursday, so uh, I'll have an agenda when we get there for that. And department heads have been invited to that. Um, as you can see, the group, group health insurance um, um, was not good. Uh, you know, our uh, health insurance rate is going up about 49%. We did go out and look at the major carriers and, and uh, there isn't a better rate from the major carriers. Uh, and realistically, um, and I'll talk about this on Thursday in the budget uh, work session, but PEEP was lower than the major carriers, a lot lower than ma major carriers. And that's the reason we went with them and really if you look at their rates, now they're adjusting up to where the major carriers are. And we know and understand that the major carriers haven't really adjusted rates up a lot. You know, if somebody has Blue Cross Blue Shield, I think um, they were seeing maybe a five, six, 7% increase. Um, so there, there's two other, um, two other uh, in, in insurances that we're gonna look at. One's Lakes Country Service Cooperative. We were a member of them before. And then there's Prime, what is it? Prime, Prime, West. Prime West out of Alexandria. Um, we haven't seen those rates yet, but my guess, I think their uh, Lakes Country has got Medica as their provider. So it could be that, could be that we maybe find one of those two, but we'll, we'll see. I think that information is gonna come in in the next couple of days. Um, the improvement project um, is pretty much done for, for now. There's a couple things that they have to tweak on and then, uh, you know, we'll finish everything next spring. Uh, I did get an email today from the AFSCME union rep uh, with a draft uh, memorandum of understanding about, um, we talked about 
raising the liquor store clerk pay. And actually, if we made that $15 an hour, they would surpass the library one and the, the uh, airport manager. So I think throwing them all into one line item is probably the way to go. So I'll probably have that for you at the next meeting. And then the, the one item, I did get a call today from somebody on East 7th Street thinking that we're gonna have a discussion about East 7th Street tonight. And I said, it's just an informational thing at this point, but the state of Minnesota is looking at, we are on the project list for funding for 2024, but we don't have a project planned out yet. Uh, and they're talking about maybe bumping that up to next year, but <coughs> there's a lot of work that has to be done to figure out exactly what that project's gonna be. Uh, and we haven't done any engineering or anything because as you know, once you start doing engineering, you're going to start paying out money and, and uh, the plan was to do that next year. So we'll take a look at that. Jeff Kuhn's going to talk more with them about that and, and then we'll see what happens. We'll go from there. So a lot of, a lot of, a lot of things happening still. And then I would just open it up for any questions you might have. I just have a quick question in regards to what Mary Elizabeth was talking about in the, you know, we had the gal here this summer who, that wasn't our issue, but more businesses with the handicap and serving all, all folks, you know, being accommodable to everybody in the city. What, you know, handicap bathrooms or doors, and this is an issue in all our parks, is it, I mean, is there, I mean, there's a huge expense to adding a handicap door, but how, is there grants for that or, or not? That's just the city's responsibility. To so, what, and one of the things, you know, that uh, we'll talk about on Thursday too is the next step for the library is to do a study on what needs to be done. One of the things I, I did, I did go online and look at the, uh, the ADA requirements for public facilities and stuff. And one of the things that's important to understand is if your facility is not handicapped accessible, it doesn't mean you have to drop everything you're doing and spend whatever it takes to make it handicapped accessible. Um, actually, when she's talking about the bathrooms in the parks, um, I'm not quite sure, you know, exactly what needs to be done there to make them handy. I, I, I'm not aware that there's many parks that have electronic openers for park doors, you know, so those are all things that you take a look at at the same time. Um, you know, one of the things that the architects did provide is some some insight into Wells Park on Thursday. We'll talk about that. But Wells Park, we have a couple preliminary ideas of what could be doing be done with the concession stand over there because it's not really handicapped accessible. But if you build a brand new facility, and actually somebody told me uh, this morning, it's like, why? What about? You know, out at the fairgrounds, they have that great big bathroom that was built there by where they do the the uh, the uh, cattlemen do their stakes and stuff like that. And it's like, do we need a fancy brick? You know, you know, they're very expensive because uh, you'll see that the estimate for maybe doing a new bathroom over at uh, Wells Park is probably two hundred to three hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> and right now, construction costs. Uh, we know and understand construction costs for commercial buildings. It's like three hundred and seventy-five dollars a square foot. It's very expensive. So then, you know, but we have to look at what can we do, you know, in these places. And and uh, I think, you, you, I think that's one of the as people bring stuff up, mm -hmm. we can take a look at it because I think there's some good ideas for over at the library and like here. I think the bathrooms are pretty much handicapped accessible. They might not meet today's code. We know we've seen that before on construction projects where, you know, the, the handicap curb cuts change depending on what the standards are. And when you do a project, you redo them, but you're not required to go redo them all. So, so it is, it's important for us to continue to look at all that stuff. It, 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 that's the nice thing. I mean, when people come and then it yep. puts it into, okay, and maybe the, the, Ticket would be just to get a handicap porta potty. Right. I mean that that's that's a solution that right. would be Absolutely. like okay. Then that's, that's a great that's, idea. Um, yeah, it is. It's like oh okay, but not knowing or not thinking about that. Because so. they they have them. 
Yeah, they do. But it's bathrooms concession stand at Wells Park. Right. right. We're just talking, saying, think, uh, just so we're straight on it, it's not just a concession stand, but, and I'd mentioned at one of our park board meetings on the possibility of getting rid of the concession in the existing building, and that's something we were going to look at with an architect to make that whole building bathroom, because from the outside it doesn't look that bad, I don't think. I mean, it's, it's a decent looking right. building. And it'd be a lot cheaper for us to build a concession stand, I would think, versus a bathroom concession. But just what the cost would be here if there's grants available. So just some legwork on that. Right. Great, good. I see we have some, uh, are any other uh, questions on uh, city manager report, comments? I see we have uh, some information on <coughs> Where did that go? Uh, there it is. Uh, canvassing board question. I think that answers our question. Doesn't matter. Anybody can sit on it. Everybody can sit on it. So we have uh, under inf informational items, we need to set a canvassing board meeting for November 10th. Is there a special time on that? that no, I think the best? last time we did one, I think it was at noon, wasn't it? I think they did it at 10. Or 10. Isn't it, this is a you Thursday? Can, three of us, or it wasn't, we just didn't have a quorum. Didn't we have to be in? Yeah, we yeah, have Yeah, I think quorum. you just have to have a quorum. Maybe it was at noon. Didn't we do it? I think the one I sat on, we did it up at the courthouse. Yeah, that's a... That's the county one. The county, yeah, the oh, county has one, yeah. too. And we have to have representation there. Yes. Also. We, well, this we, is in addition to that. Yeah, this is for the city. City, okay. Yeah. And yeah, then the county, new. I haven't heard when that is. Okay. I'm, I'm not sure when that is. I don't know either. Yeah, I haven't seen anything come through think. on that either. So you so, want to set it for November 10th? I'm good with that. Yeah, what time works for you. I can come whenever. Now that I'm in town, I can come retired. anytime. <laughs> I'm retired. <laughs> Gotta keep rubbing it in. I guess if I was required to be there, it'd probably be right away in the morning if we could, just to get it done. If I'm fine with any time you guys want to do. But it. if you have a quorum, don't change nothing. It's for like seven thirty right away in the morning. Seven thirty eight. Eight o'clock would be. Eight o'clock. Yeah, but if that's we have a quorum, one. that's fine. Without me, I'm I'm good with eight o'clock. I'm fine day. with that. That's awful early, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I figured that would come from either you or him. One day a week. <laughs> let's get up by seven forty-five. Short timer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Speaking eight. of that, I'll, all right, we can finish that, yeah. and I'll bring up my next. But yes. The eighth with the election day and our council meeting is that any issue with us? Yeah, we have to be done by six. Okay, I so that is the same, just yep, the same as the primary. Okay, yeah. what, what happened with the in, primary? In prior years, we had this was a a, a voting place, so we couldn't have a meeting. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay. Well, and it's not it, it, you know you usually it's, it's it doesn't always conflict with the city council. Oh, yeah, they, but yeah, you're right. This used to be a polling place. Yeah, well, it's, yeah, it doesn't always, but it mostly always does. And the canvassing meeting will be here. Yes. Yeah. So uh, I'll make a motion to the canvassing board. There's no motion on that yet, right? No. No. I'll make a motion on the canvassing board meeting is set for November 10th at 8 o'clock a.m. <laughs> at council chambers. Right here at the council chambers. I will second that. Thank you. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. And we have a budget work session. Is, isn't that already set? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So we don't get to Yeah. That's that. just reminding you. Yeah. So we're okay for the next uh, meeting on November 8th, which is election day. We just got to be done by six. Yep. yep. Okay. I don't know if I missed it or not, uh, Blaine, the West. Sixth Street Boulevard restoration is that project done? I believe so. Because that something else? boulevards look like crap. 
Well, I can talk to Jeff about it. Yeah. There wasn't much of a bubble bar. No, there wasn't. They but, put a little they put yeah. a little dirt down and I don't know if they were supposed to seed it or not. Yeah. So no, I don't think, think they can see it at this late. No, I'm thinking but I it's going to be a temporary. But this was, project was done last yeah. year. The one oh. over here. Yeah. 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 I, they put yeah. a lot of gravel in there and didn't really put nice dirt, so there was nothing you could do with it. It's not very good. But anyway, anyway, yeah, if you could look. Yep. Yep. Well, we should have a warranty or if something's not right to, to fix or yeah. replace or to get it done. I, I don't remember a pay estimate coming through with that because that would have been a Riley thing, wouldn't it? Yep. We had a final. We did. Was there anything in there that said they had to put dirt in the boulevard or anything like yeah. refill them? Yeah, where, wherever the boulevard was, that's what they're supposed to be doing. We can get them to come back and yeah. fix that. Well, okay, at minimum, the city guys should come and take care of the boulevards around the railroad right. track. Right, yeah, because I don't, and I don't know if the tree board talked about planting some trees. Maybe there wasn't good dirt there, in there. There's, so there's one thing. tree on, on <laughs> that's why. did they plant one? They, they planted I think they planted, one. yeah. I don't know about the other ones, but, but all right. the weeds are pretty high there. And of course, now they're frozen. They're, the weeds are going down now. So. Um, I just talked to Joe one night uptown, and he had commented that he was told by somebody from the city, and I didn't ask who, but that the city was going to take care of that, that they did not have to do any more with that on yeah. West 6th by okay. the tracks there. So just, yeah, communication and yeah. I'll, follow I'll up talk on to it. Russ. Okay, hey, and since our last meeting, has anyone been down Main Street and noticed on, like, 2nd Street there the... Greenhouse is gone. Mm. Oh, Nothing there. Turn. Of course. <laughs> yes, yeah. of course they have. Yes. Yeah. It looks, looks great. Good. It looks yes. great. Yeah. It's really That's been good. a long time coming, but yeah. It's a huge. We lot. talked about it earlier, but some pumps we know are the first. Everybody out there, the first. November first. Some pumps. November the first. Some pumps can go inside. It's not a mandatory thing. They can go inside. It just can't be pushed out to the sidewalks and road to create ice. Well, place like this, then, you don't have to worry about it. I put mine in my yard. Of course, I got no water in it, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, anything else to come before the council? Hey, 6 o'clock tonight is uh, Friends of the Library meeting. We could still make it. They've got uh, desserts and, uh, and treats, I think. So. Cool. Anything else? Desserts and treats. I, that's what I thought I said. Wow. Um, meeting adjourned. Thank you.